Hi, and welcome back to Chemistry Videos. My name is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh, and we're going to continue our introduction to organic naming today. And we're going to name alkenes and alkynes. All right, so last time we talked about the major subclasses alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Alkanes had all single bonds between them. Al Alkenes, yeah, I think I did that right. <laughs> alkanes have all single bonds between them. Alkenes have at least one double bond, and alkynes have at least one triple bond. So if I had a double bond between two carbons, we did hexane as our last example. Let's do something like that. Okay, we talked about formulas as well. So let's figure out how long the longest continuous carbon chain is in this one. Okay. If you count it, remembering that line drawings or skeletal formulas have a carbon at the end of every line and every juncture between two lines, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons here. And I could label that from left to right, or I could label that from right to left. Oh, if I could count, that would be even better. Woohoo! Let's not go from one to eight. We're not doing this by eights. We're doing this by two, you know, ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. We need to pick which numbering is better for this molecule. All right. So the question is, do we have anything that we need to worry about that has maybe what we call priority in organic chemistry? What priority is, is priority is giving things that are more important the lowest number possible and indicating them somewhere in the name, okay? So what's important here? Well, there actually is something important here, and that is the fact that it has a double bond. So multiple bonds tend to have some of the highest priority, okay? So multiple bonds are first on the priority list. That means that this other numbering, the numbering from left to right, is not good. And the reason why was because it had the double bond between positions 6 and 7. And when I talked about priority, I said it had to have the lowest number possible, which means that it has to be between 1 and 2. Also on this list, we'll eventually get to functional groups of which this is a generalized beginning list. Okay, If you have a functional group with a multiple bond, obviously it's more important than both of those. And then you have alkyl groups. Okay, So in terms of looking at this, I'm going to go with this numbering because it has a, this molecule has a double bond in it. And that double bond has to have the lowest set of numbers around it possible. Okay. From that point on, the only thing you're doing is you're looking up the stem for seven carbons. If you look up the stem for seven carbons, it's the same as the Greek version here. It is hept. And then you're going to add an ending to that stem that is indicative of the fact that this has a double bond between two carbons. And that means that it is in the subclass of alkenes. Okay, so the name of this particular molecule is heptene. Now, the unfortunate thing here is that, yes, this is heptene, but so is that. Wait for it, and so is this. And if you learn anything from chemistry naming at all, what you should learn is that it is an awful, a perfectly awful idea to name two different compounds the exact same name, especially when they have different properties about them. And so what we need here is we need something to distinguish this one from this one and this one. And all we're going to do is we're going to say where that double bond is. Where is the double bond? Well, here it's between positions one and two. Because it's between positions one and two, we just pick the lowest of those two numbers that are surrounding the double bond. So between one and two, the lower number is one. So this becomes one heptene. Okay? This one, if we numbered it correctly, we would have numbered it from 
the left side. I mean, sorry, from the right side. <laughs> my left and my right. It would have started right here. There we go. And indeed, you would have had a two and a three. The lower of those two numbers is two. So this would be two heptene. And this one would be one, two, there's three and four. Lower of those two numbers is three, three heptene. The question is that we tend to ask a lot and that we like to ask is, is there any such thing as five heptene, right? And let's look at that for a moment. Let's say that I didn't have a double bond right there, but I just started numbering, right? One, two, there's heptene. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is there any such thing as five heptene so that the, the double bond is between positions five and six? The answer to that, by the way, is no. There's no such thing as five heptene. That means you just numbered it wrong, right? That is actually the same. The proper name for this would be two heptene. That goes for both of those, okay? And you can see they look exactly alike, okay? With alkynes, exact same deal. You're gonna have priority. You're gonna start the numbering by the triple bond, and you are gonna number the longest continuous carbon chain, look up the stem, and then add an ending that in that case would be indicative of the fact that it has a triple bond, which means that it would be it would belong to the major subclass alkynes. All right, so let's do that. What do we want to do? Let's do something that's, that doesn't have a Greek prefix, which means we're looking for a shorter chain. All right, let's do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Looks good, yeah. I like it. Longest continuous carbon chain in this case is four carbons long. You start at the right because I seem to be in a right place <laughs> going from right to left instead of left to right. I don't know. I just get like that sometimes. All right. So in that case, you look at this, you've numbered it with four carbons. The organic stem for four carbons is but. Looks like but, but it's not. It's but. Okay. And I'm going to put the, uh, an ending indicative of the fact that it's in alkynes because it has a triple bond between two carbons, which means it gets an ion on the end. To tell where that triple bond is, I better put a number in front of it and I pick the lowest number of the two numbers surrounding that triple bond. One butyne, there it is. Joyousness, until I see you again, we will talk more about naming and isomers, isomer, isom, isomers, that's what I just said. I meant isomers isomers and or isomerism and reactions all right until then